मैं आपके लिए आप ये पहला सेशन है आपके लिए दो लगते हैं मॉडरेटर ये लेवल पे आप हो आज ये याद रखिए आई एम फीलिंग वेरी वेरी प्रिवलेज वेरी ऑनर्ड के आई एम सिटिंग इन द कंपनी ऑफ यू नो प्रिवलेज और कॉनर्ड बोथ चेतन एंड वीर वीर एंड मी एवरी हम लोग ने काफी बातचीत की है Many right times. from the time you joined the industry, I think so. The first ones, yeah. Lots of. Uh, I was once fun supposed interviews. to interview your sister. Acha. And she said, "I can't make it. I'll send my sister." So I said, "Even better," and we did a terrific interview. Acha. I remember. And this is our first time. Yes, I think. first time. Okay. We said we were discussing the. We said you asked the first question, so I'm asking one question. I, I, and I, all my questions are questions I genuinely want to ask you personally also. and i asked this in a different form yesterday to kiara but i'm asking you this because i think you can answer this best because this this big debate on can a woman have it all you know like indra noi the pepsi co ceo said well they can't some say they can they, career family husband kids fitness looks money fame guess who has it all <laughs> i mean you do seem to have it all so what is your take on this can women have it all and what does it take to have it all I think, of course, I think women, every human can have it all. Men, women, everybody. But I think what I have, which I count most important amongst all these things, is that I am happy, and happiness True. is something that I have because my happiness is my mental stability. And if that is not there, baki apne sab jo. कहा फेम मनी करियर हजबेंड किड्स एवरी थिंग फॉल्स शॉर्ट सब खत्म हो जाता है कि अगर वो मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ एंड मेंटल हैप्पीनेस जो है नहीं है सो फॉर मी दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट अ वुमेन शुड प्रिजर्व सेल्फ प्रेजर्वेशन लीड्स टू हैप्पीनेस बट डू यू वर्क डैम हार्ड इज इट लाइक अ नॉन स्टॉप लाइक योर डे इज full like you, there is never like chilling doing nothing you're always having to balance things or is it pretty relaxed i mean some days is very hectic like today was very hectic because every lot of things were happening in the khan household oh really <laughs> yeah <laughs> because there was temur school fet going on there was uh my younger one jay's first ever concert that i missed today because i was shooting a, a Dream 11 campaign in Andheri. I've come from there, and Saif was actually doing a rehearsal for his film, which he's starting on Netflix next week. So he actually went to the school fair and to the concert, and I had to come here now. So it's been very busy, and I just called the kids up in the car before I got off here, and I said, "Have you guys reached home? Are you all eating dinner? Because now I'm still not done for the day." <laughs> so yeah, I mean, there's always, you know, there it's it's a constant battle, but I love it. I enjoy it. Does it get and, easier? <clears throat> you know, it's what you actually want it to be, and how you want it to be. Okay. You know, some days I want it to be like this, and कुछ दिन ऐसे होते हैं जब I just want to switch off my phone. I don't want to talk to my managers. I don't want to talk to anybody, not even my parents, maybe. And I just want to be with myself and with my immediate unit, which is, you know, my two kids and my husband, well, which is normal, one, and that, I'm allowed. But, but that's one of the interesting things about you and Seth, that both of you form a very close family unit with your kids. and though you're both public people you're also very private people there's a lot of stuff people don't know how you enjoy yourselves for instance i was shocked to discover how much you knew about fine wine and burgundy i mean that side of you you never talk about so is that a deliberate decision to keep that privacy like i said some things should be preserved should be kept a little bit for the unknown sub so that feeling of Okay do we really know her do we you, you know do we don't i'm i'm happy with people kuch log assume bhi kar lete hai ki shayad wo aisi hogi jaise ki most people feel like i'm either poo or geet yeah you know and and i not? made them believe that that could be a possibility <laughs> you not <laughs> I, i'm a bit of all Please my become. characters <laughs> 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 but there's a side to me that it is very private i like yeah. to keep it a little private i want i think that somewhere it keeps my like i said mental health my mental stability because i think if everything is just left for the known and you know yeah for judgment 
I don't know how we'll survive as actors. <laughs> but between you and Seth, you have a reputation for being the more even-tempered one and he's slightly moody. Is that fair? Well, he's not going to agree to that, Veer. He's going to okay, want to say that even she is moody. You can tell us the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that, you know, we both, in a way, we ground each other. I think a husband or wife, jo hota hai, I think they kind of, um, they feed off each other. Yeah. You know, it's something. And our energies, both Saif and me, if he's hyper, I'm calm. If I'm getting hyper, he's always trying to calm me down. So I think somewhere that dynamic has worked out, but I would say that he may be a lot m more impulsive, but yeah. now I think he, I've calmed him down. So straight. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, uh, you know, speaking of, you mentioned privacy and having a boundary. Now, curiosity about celebrities' kids is normal. It's everywhere. It's in British royalty, like, I think the whole country goes crazy when, the, when they are having a child and, and we've seen it but we've not seen it like we saw for Temur. Yeah. Have you seen for any other? It was, a, and by the way, Temur comes to play in my building. Oh, really? And like a very normal kid, uh, like in Vahida building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we've, he, we've seen him so many times and it's, and then like, you know, to have a child who's an infant, who's a toddler, to be so talked about. You know, he, once I went there, so, by the way, fun fact I sometimes say in my talks, did you know Temur is related to Rabindranath Tagore? Think about it. He is, no? He is, yeah. Yeah. yes. Great, 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 yes. great so grand. There is some... How do, you, how do you as a mother see it? You are very used to fame, you've seen fame for generations in your family. So in a way I think you're, you know how to handle it. But when it's happening to your child and then the second child as well, and a disproportionate attention, memes, you know, this wasn't there yeah. earlier. Now the technology We're in the digital age, I mean, everything is, like I said, is meant for people, you know, to just give their yeah. opinion, judge, their judgment, yeah. troll us, love us, hate us. But the, when kids get, like, you know, there is a, I feel there's a boundary crossed. How do you see it? How did you handle it? How do you, are you chill about it? How do you, does it bother you sometimes? How does it happen? I think the only way I could be was to actually be chilled about it. Because if I was hyper about it, which maybe I was inside, but if I would bring it out, I feel somewhere it would have affected Temur yeah. in knowing that, you know, something's upsetting me or that, you know, like there's too many cameras on me or kya ho ra hai, kyun kar rahe se, kyun photo le rahe yeah, you know, like if I'm telling the photographer, ke photo mat lo, I just feel like, you know, if he was exposed to that, it would have probably left a lasting impact on him that this has, he's seen this. Whereas if, like Saif just told me, he said, just, you know, head down and walk. Right. There's, we can't run away from this, but instead of like kind, trying to scar him further, Let's just take it in our stride and just walk with our head down outside the airport or wherever it is. And then when Temur understands after a certain age, which he does, that my parents are famous, so they're clicking, they're clicking him and he's quite easy about it. He's very chill. And I think that's the reason he's actually really chilled and relaxed. He's but like, you know, both of you grew up being star kids in a sense with everyone knowing who you were, Stardust would write about you. But tab ek hi Stardust tha, ek but, hi but I was about tha. to say that, but it was different in those yeah. days, you know. There were lines people didn't cross. Those lines are gone. Kids are fair game now. Everything is, you're being scrutinized with a magnifying glass. I feel the digital age and Instagram and people are just making up stories. Yeah. Anything is just being written. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody's writing a review. Sub. Kuch na kuch bole ja in, fa in fact, your, what they call Insta game. I mean, you're, you're from the pre-internet era. Forget yeah, pre-social yeah. <laughs> media era. I'm very conservative actually <laughs> and, when it comes and to And nowadays, the latest uh, breed of artists, actors, not just actors, everybody. I yeah. would say even writers, they have to have a social media game. We have a social media star Your game. social media game also is quite strong, Chetan. I, yeah, because that's <laughs> more important than I the writing. It, yeah. We have Ori here, who has another champion of social Ori, media Ori, my dear friend, he's also here. He's a <laughs> yeah, new age celebrity. He's for your session. Ah. Uh, he, uh, see yeah. <laughs> how, 
<laughs> and I think your husband's not on social media. No, he at is. At all. So, is the pressure there? Do you sometimes feel, oh my God, we better be on this, otherwise we'll become lose relevance, or we better be good at this, we better hire a team who does this, or you guys are still old school, or you have deliberate, is it deliberate? Is it intentional to keep away? Is it like, ye samaj nahi aata hai? Nee, I think that for Saif it is different because I think he's like, you know, that constant posting or taking your own picture and trying to put something. I think that he's not, like, he doesn't get that. Um, it's easier for me somehow, I don't know. I think, I don't know, maybe I like taking selfies. I have no idea. <laughs> but the idea is that I know how to channelize my life. Like, I'll give a little bit of an idea of my life but I'll also know when to pull back. The idea is that you have to know when to pull back. I think it's people just kind of get yeah. very consumed. And the thing is maybe because I have a lot going on in terms of like, you know, whether it's with the kids or whether it's my work, that it's not, I don't get so affected or consumed by it. Do you sometimes oh. feel guilty about working and not being there for your kids? A lot of women do. What do you have to say to those who do? and? How do you cope with that feeling? No, of course, like, there was a lot of guilt that I couldn't be there for Jay's first concert. But then I kind of tell myself that I know I will be there when, you know, he'll perform next year. Mm -hmm. And it's more for me at this age. Sure. You know, because he's, he's three. It's, it's my guilt. It's like I need to be there for my joy to see what he does. Because I don't know if he'll remember it. So I have to... You know, you have to talk to yourself, convince yourself, say that it's okay. Because somewhere I feel that I can't live this guilt of, you know, I'm not going to be there at certain times or at all times and I'm, you know, not there 24 hours. Um, because I, being at work or being a working mother is something that, I mean, I can't live without either. I don't know anything without that. I feel that he under... Like, Temur understands that when I say I'm going to work, I'm going to shooting. I also feel it's a healthy atmosphere for him to see that his mother as well as his father go to mm. work. They take turns in who's probably going to be there at home. I think it will give him a lot, of, a very balanced approach to, you know, growing up and knowing how to respect a woman a lot more. You're in a business where success and failure comes and goes very quickly. Seth, until he made it, what, 14 flops in a row, and then he really made it, right? And there's always a degree of tension before a film being released, three flops in a row, two hits, you wonder how long it'll last. How do you, in a home situation, insulate your kids from the uncertainties that a star's life inevitably has? It's an interesting question, Veer, because it's so tough to not be caught up in this yeah. world of this. It's like a vicious, never-ending circle. Na? Right. Jo success, failure, success, failure, failure, hota hai toh, then you're like, nahin, nahin, now I have to do something where I want to be successful. When you're successful, it's never enough. True. You want to constantly keep chasing it. So I feel that somewhere... I can speak for myself that I've just learned to just say that I want, this is what I want to do and only this much. And I want to step back. I've seen it all, I've done it. But now I have to find success, happiness, and some sort of comfort in other things apart from yeah. just chasing this box office, you know, this nexus that just sucks you in and that you just want that, you know. But Stars claim they would do that, but when they sort of reach that level, they've got so used to success, they're so hungry for more. For more. But you seem to have found a balance. I think I'm very lucky in that sense because I have to give a lot of credit to Seth. My marriage to him grounded me a lot, gave me a sort of a, you know, a comfort yeah. that I felt that... And a lot of exposure to a lot of other things. Like what? Like life outside the movies, yeah. you know, whether it's friendships from school, whether it's friendships from college, whether it's, you know, family, cousins, travel, you know, watching sunsets, you know, going to Himachal, going to Dharamsala. When he was shooting this film, I was pregnant. I spent, you know, three weeks there really? with him. 
and I had like, you know, just exploring, just being there, not being in front of the camera, but just being, you know, walking around, going to the market, just enjoying your time not being an actor. I think he uh, exposed me to that, which I started enjoying. Mm. And once you start that, I think you find that balance. It's difficult though, isn't it? It's difficult, but you make a conscious effort to also engage with people outside the film fraternity. I think yeah. that also makes it a lot easier. Because but you that's start having always fun. been true of both your families in a yeah. sense. Huh? You I be, think so. You're different in that way. You grew up initially in South Bombay. Yeah. Safe did not far also. from where you lived also. So you've both had very distinct lives. Huh? And we've maintained a lot of friendships from when we were a lot younger. Yeah. And before the movies. So I think that somehow just gives you a break and slightly more exposed to the real world yeah. of what's happening a little bit outside, That's you know? True. So Which it's is nice so important. To, yeah. Chetan? I have a film industry kind of question because you're kind of like an expert. There, there is today, we are in what is often described as the attention economy or there's a war for attention. There was a time like people used to get bored, you know? Mm. And then wait for movies, they are coming and we would wait for week. I remember for, in fact, I remember for Kavi Khushi Kavi Gum, I was in Hong Kong working in a bank and literally I bought tickets one month in advance and we made a plan with 25 friends. And today, I'm not able to keep up with mm. all the movies, all the OTT shows and then there is Instagram reels and then there is TikTok. TikTok, they stopped. Otherwise, I would have <laughs> left over like TikTok yeah. also. And there's YouTube. And it's, it's endless. Yeah, it's, it's endless, endless entertainment. <laughs> And in the middle of all this, there is theatrical cinema still there. Do you think fundamentally something's changed for the, the movie business? Or, but then you have something like a Jawan, you'll have something like a... Yeah. And they come and break records like nothing else. And then a lot of movies are not even like making any initial... Yeah. For, yeah. What's happening? And how are you seeing it? And how do you see OTT versus films? I think the switch happened. I think COVID changed a lot. You know, people being in their homes for two years kind of left people consuming a lot from the digital and the OTT space because there was obviously no cinemas for like a year, year and a half. People, entertainment, I feel in India, maximum entertainment is, you know, films and cricket. You want to watch that. You want to go out. People really, really go out to do that. So the two years of COVID kind of taught us to consume a lot of other stuff, you know, like you said, OTT platforms, you know, people are watching, you know, whatever was available, whatever. So maybe the audience's mindset changed for a bit. Um, also their exposure to the OTT platform and the kind of films that were coming out was very different because, you know, it's a different platform. You're allowed to show a lot more. There's a lot of different kind of storytelling. But I think eventually, I think the heart of where we all lie is, you know, ke family ke saath theater mein jaake film dekhni hai. That spirit started coming back slowly, slowly, slowly. with the big ticket films, yeah. you know, like Pathan and Jawan. And now slowly, slowly, I think even the smaller films are doing 80, 90 crores, you know, like a dream girl. So I think people are coming back now with the hope that this is where actually their joy lies. So I think Cinema will always Optimist. be there for And you're love. optimistic. Yeah. I'm very optimistic about it because I feel like every, most of the films that have released now have done really, really well because people are, you know, they're craving the fact of that, you know, going, singing their songs in, jo you know, yeah. in unison together. They love that. That's the theater experience. And I think that is coming back and I'm not going to lose hope that it's not because I think the recent past has done pretty well. You have... You have to do your fitness routine, you have to do your diet, you have to raise your kids and you, I'm sure you're getting more work than you can do. You are fortunate enough to get a lot more scripts than you can do. How do you decide how much is enough for a year? And how do you know like, okay, something better may come along. I mean, is it like, is it deliberate now? I have two kids, I cannot do as many movies as I used to do 10 years back. And then, oh my God, I really love this. I really yeah. want to do this. Does that happen? Like, give us an example of things like that. And how, I, how is the scheduling of your life happening on if a yearly, monthly, daily basis? There has to be, you know, a sacrifice because we're actually, both of us are working. Yeah. So, we like take turns. Um, 
if you know i want to do a film we try that saif is at home if saif is shooting for a film then i try to be at home because we always one of us want to be with you know the kids they're obviously of that age where they need one of their parents with them and then we take out that time where like for in a year two and a half months we won't work together which is june to august and okay. that is like a pact that come what may it's okay and i mean you know you have to learn to sacrifice something that's vacation time so yeah, yeah that's that, family vacation because that's a family vacation and that's the longest period that you know we hmm. temur gets his holidays so we want to spend time together travel be at home it doesn't it's not necessary that we have to be on a holiday holiday the idea is that we just have to be together and we don't have to both of us don't want to work at that time and then so it's turns if he's done a movie and then you both have a good movie so it's my turn now yeah you're changing the like diapers that. for the next few months yeah luckily the kids are not in diapers but well, the fact like, is that yeah. in the sense he's he's there or i am there so okay. we we so. it's tough so one of us is always sacrificing fair enough that's yeah. what marriage is about yeah absolutely and i mean i'm working moms have to do then you have to do it happily yeah you know from the time you joined the industry to now do you feel the way in which women are being treated in the industry has changed or is it still the same no i think it is changed because i think a lot of strong women have done a lot of strong parts yeah they have done films that have been loved by the audiences by the masses by the you know by the film people by the critics and at the box office so whether it's you know lead actresses like kangana like vidya like dipika or myself i think we've always tried to stand for roles that have risen above just being you know there in the film yeah. so you know i think that has what has really really changed a lot of dynamics on everybody you know demanding a certain a role demanding a certain fee demanding a certain position and i think today things are different also the old argument that people went to see heroes at the box office and the women were just incidental that's dead no no i think people are going to see films yeah and i would want that people go to see cinema yeah ye nahi hai ki hero ko dekh rahe ya heroine ko dekh rahe hum picture dekh rahe hum saath mein film dekh rahe kahani sun rahe gaane sun rahe aur saath mein you know khushiyan baat rahe because that's what our films are it's not ke you know okay it's a male centric film or heroine typical centric i mean my film is releasing on the 29th of march it's called crew it's about three uh air hostesses there's tabu me and kriti sanan in the film but i want to look at it as i don't want to look at it like oh it's a female centric film heroin no. oriented picture it's a, it's a film about people yeah. and some people are male and some are female yeah <laughs> what is the problem and yeah. it's a film go watch it enjoy it love it why are you giving it names it's a film in fact uh, another thing that has changed and I, i'm sure you agree or maybe you can elaborate more on it is that there was this notion stereotype that there's a shelf life of a f- actor especially female actor uh, there's a shelf life and comes to marriage shaadi ke baad to no chance shaadi ke baad and for you and not just you it's not just you yeah, so yeah. it's not like you are the exception for a lot of we don't even know sometimes we have to think is she married is she not married yeah. i mean it doesn't even we never think uh, absolutely but it used to be different and even kids nothing no. age also i think you know not at all i think today i think people audience also has become accepting and i think age is just you know a number it's something that you're as old as you look today well, you, i mean you have to be fit you have to look good yes because it's a visual medium so we have to look after your you oneself. look like the clothes brand it's called forever 21 <laughs> no but i don't want to ever be 21 again i'm why? very happy why not no I, i i love i love the fact that i think at 21 i was so much more like hyper and anxious aajkal ke bhi 21 year olds na they always when i see them i'm always like god just wait till you're like in your 40s you'll be much more calm i think i'm in a happy place like that but no going forward i mean take his question forward do you see yourself acting forever or do you see yourself stepping back 
आई डोंट नो माई ग्रैंड फादर ऑलवेज सर ना जीना यहाँ मरना यहाँ इसके सिवा जाना कहाँ फॉर मी आई जस्ट ग्रोन अप विद दैट ही इज एक्सपोज डस्ट टू दैट एंड यू नो फॉर मी दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट सो या आई डोंट नो I want but, to be on but a movie set for family, you know, right? Till the end, he was planning his next film. Yeah. Even if there were downs, he always bounced back. Yeah, I mean, he lost everything in Mera Naam Joker. Yeah. I mean, to his last shot, there was nothing. But he and just Kala fought. And Kalaj or Kalaj after that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it was Bobby that saved the everything. everything. So, given that, are you like a child of the industry, brought up in the industry, and part of the industry till you die, or at some stage will you walk away? I don't know if I'll walk away because I just love what I do, and I'm just passionate about about being in front of the camera and doing different parts. You know, like just showing, diff- just straddling that the fact that I can do different characters. You know, like Jani Jha will be different from crew, and I take great pride in yeah. it being like you know one is like a comedy role and one is like. you know such an intense thriller so for me i don't know anything else and i want to work forever so i mean i don't know but yeah. 20 years later we'll still have a chat and we'll figure it out no no, no. my guess is you'll be doing this right <laughs> till the end chetan go ahead you should we should wrap up and you should do it i well i just it, there's a lot to learn from you and i think uh, it is truly amazing how you've managed not just look great but evolve over time not just as an actor but as a person and i think you I don't I don't know you when you were 21 but today you come across <laughs> as really grounded and really like get a handle on things and seeing fame in the mature proper way I think it's been really interesting talking to you thank you so much for thank your time you, thank you thank for you for having me guys thank you so much Ideas of India ye hai ideas of India ABP Networks Ideas of India